Salve, this is organic vegetarian recipes, OBR, and you can see this looks like this might be a little bit too big, but don't worry, this is going to um, shrink. Now I'm preheating the oven to 425 convection bake. If you don't have convection bake, do your best. So this is the important part. I'm going to add in the spices. So the first spice, simply organic ginger. These are my base spices. And you can see this thing doesn't want to do what it's supposed to. But there it goes. So this is the spices that you use the most. I'm going to use this the most. Now the most important thing is to cook your crust initially enough before adding in the ingredients. I've seen Bar Rescue, I've seen a lot of stuff. People don't know how to make their things. Because this is right out of the freezer. This is organic whole wheat pizza crust, thin and crispy, 365. I used to I used to use a different one. I used to use this, um, what was it? Like this Great Grains, like one from uh, this other company. But, yeah, you can see doing this with one hand isn't too easy. Certain things are good to do one handed. But, so basically, I'm going to cook across for eight minutes at 425 on the convection bake. I'm going to add my three main spices before I add the next spices. So, this is basically the most important step. Because this is going to be what determines if your pizza works or not. Because when you add the toppings, especially a thin crust like this, I mean this is like an ultra thin crust too. When you add the toppings, it's really going to make a difference if you don't cook the crust long enough. Because the crust will stick to the pizza pan and it'll also the toppings like will fall off. So I made this last time, I did 425, 8 minutes before I added in the next set of ingredients and then I did um, 18 minutes at 425. But today I'm going to do 18 minutes at 420 on the convection bake because maybe it burned things a little bit, but everything stayed pretty good, you know. It actually, the thing held together, didn't fall apart, knock on wood. So that was the garlic powder that I added. Now this is the turmeric. This you'll see. You'll see the orange. Another thing is these spices kind of help the crust, so you can kind of cook the crust without burning the crust. If you don't have enough spices, it's very easy to cook the crust, burn the crust, or cause issues. But normally I'm doing this two-handed, but these spices don't want to shake out. I'm like three seconds from cursing my head off, because it's like, you know what, just get out and let's be done with it. But yeah, I'm also not using on the bottom ring. Usually when I make the frozen pizzas, I use the bottom ring. This was new. I never did frozen right out of the freezer before. But Whole Foods freezes these, so once they get that frost in them, if you let it defrost, it's basically going to be issues. So there you can see, these are the main spices. I already have the sauce. I just put the stuff in the sauce. So this is an organic, thin and crispy whole wheat crust. Now I have other pizza pans. You can see this is a little bit too big for the pizza pan, it looks like. but. Once I cook this for eight minutes, it's going to shrink down. So I'm going to put this thing in the oven, the oven when it's preheated to 425. And uh, just to give you an idea, that's where the oven is going to be. It's going to be on the second one. So I'm not going to put it on the bottom rung. So yeah, this is basically the first part. This is when you basically cook the thing, and then you basically put it in the oven. And I mean, do you really need me to put it in the oven? I don't know if you're that stupid, but... So remember, make sure you cook this long enough before you add in the next stage of spices. So the next stage of spices that I'm going to add after this, I'm going to add organic black pepper, organic crushed red pepper, organic basil, organic cilantro, organic parsley, organic thyme, organic sage, very little. Because the thing is, then I'm going to put the sauce on top of that. You can even add cheese on under the sauce and over the sauce. That's like an option if you really want to do that. You know, so the sauce, I pretty much simmer it. I just put the ingredients directly into the top of the sauce and stuff like this. I thought this thing was already preheated, but obviously it was not. So you're not going to get to see me put it in the oven because it's not quite preheated yet and I don't want to mess up the thing. But you can see the crust is really, really thin. So you really don't want to mess up with this crust. But like I said, I had this pizza once before. It worked out pretty good. And now we're going to go to the next stage. But anyways, thanks and take care.